update, Owens, Illinois Innovation Center in Perrysburg could be closing. WTOL 11 has received an internal memo from an anonymous employee showing the company plans to indefinitely suspend operations at the facility as early as November 15th. Michael Sandlin joins us live in studio with more tonight. Mike, you talked with this employee on the phone. What is the center and why does she say it's closing? Well, Mel, the Innovation Center is a 24,000 square foot glass making facility used to run tests and try out prototypes. The leaked slide we received says OI is closing it as part of efforts to reduce costs, optimize its networks and streamline the organization. But the anonymous employee says that translates to shipping jobs overseas to Colombia, India and Malaysia. And this employee says they've already been told they're losing their job. Now this comes after some big wins for OI too. In the last year, the glass manufacturer received a $125 million grant from the Department of Energy and its new innovation hub. Not to be confused with the Innovation Center, received a $31 million state grant back in April. The employee told me this is especially frustrating watching the company receive win after win while its CEO announces layoffs every week. This week, this is who's gone. This week, we let three of these go. This week, we let five go. This week, we took down that department, and it's so brazen. It's everybody here is fearful. You know, we love our company. You know, we're the glass city. We want to stay with this company, but everything's been flipped on its head. OI sent us a statement which reads in part, quote, In July, OI announced the company will be undertaking its Fit to Win initiative. Actions taken as part of this program have included the reduction of employees in the Americas, eventual ceasing of commercial production in Streeter, Illinois, and idling the Perrysburg Innovation Center. These decisions were not made lightly and are a key step in optimizing the company's operations. We are committed to supporting our employees throughout this period of transition, end quote. OI said it could not tell me how many employees are affected. Our anonymous employee says many departments are being sent overseas. In studio, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.